In August 2025, something unsettling began to stir deep within the Earth. A volcano was waking up. Not in Iceland, not in Yellowstone, but in the vast landscapes of Russia. At first it seemed like just another geological event happening far away, but the truth is what happens in one part of the world can have consequences for us all. Seismographs began to register sharp spikes, the ground quivered beneath people's feet, and a pungent sulfur scent filled the air, signaling that this dormant giant was no longer asleep. For the first time in decades nature had given a chilling reminder of its power. Experts fear this could be the first chapter in a much larger catastrophe. If one volcano can threaten a region, what devastation might follow if a supervolcano like Yellowstone erupted again? The Yellowstone supervolcano, one of the most feared natural formations on Earth, last erupted 640,000 years ago. That cataclysm unleashed unimaginable destruction, claiming the lives of tens of thousands of living beings. What makes this even more terrifying is the scientific consensus that it could happen again, at any time. When Yellowstone first erupted, molten lava reaching 1,200 degrees Celsius poured across the land, incinerating everything in its path. Vast portions of what is now the United States were blanketed in volcanic ash so thick it blotted out the sun for months. Earthquakes shattered the ground, tsunamis consumed coastal regions, and life across hundreds of miles vanished. This may sound like the plot of a dystopian film but it's a very real possibility. Scientists warn that a future eruption of Yellowstone or any of the planet's other known supervolcanoes could result in catastrophic consequences not just for one nation but for life across the globe. A supervolcano is no ordinary mountain of fire, its eruption can drastically alter global climate patterns, destroy ecosystems and send humanity into a survival crisis. One of history's most devastating volcanic events was the eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia in 1815. This colossal explosion lasted for three relentless days, taking the lives of over 70,000 people directly. Yet the aftermath proved even more deadly, with hundreds of thousands perishing from disease and famine triggered by the disaster. The Tambora eruption ejected an astonishing 175 cubic kilometers of volcanic debris, enough to bury the entire state of Rhode Island under nearly 57 meters of ash, while Singapore would be smothered under 26 meters. The eruption's force was staggering. Magma surged from the volcano at a speed of 500 million kilograms per second releasing energy equivalent to 2 million atomic bombs. A towering ash plume shot 43 kilometers into the sky over four times higher than a typical commercial aircraft can fly. Within days volcanic gases sulfur, chlorine and fluorine spread through the atmosphere, triggering an anti-greenhouse effect that dramatically cooled the planet. Crops failed, livestock died, and communities faced widespread starvation as the planet plunged into what scientists call a volcanic winter. Tambora was not the only supervolcano to reshape history. In August 1883, Krakatoa, another Indonesian volcano, erupted with ferocity that still echoes in scientific records. The explosion annihilated two-thirds of the island, killed 36,000 people, and unleashed tsunamis that devastated nearby coastlines. The eruption also produced the loudest sound ever recorded in human history, reportedly heard across 10% of Earth's surface, including in Australia, over 4,000 kilometers away. The resulting ash cloud traveled across the globe, scattering sunlight and creating eerie crimson skies for months, signaling yet another example of how one volcanic event can affect the entire planet. But these disasters pale in comparison to the eruption of Toba, another Indonesian supervolcano approximately 74,000 years ago. Its impact was apocalyptic. Scientists believe the eruption caused a volcanic winter lasting between 6 and 10 years, followed by a millennium of global cooling. Humanity itself nearly vanished, populations of early humans were reduced to small groups struggling for survival in isolated pockets of Africa and Asia. Archaeological evidence from Daba India reveals tools dating back to this era, suggesting some groups endured, but barely. The eruption had a Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, of 8, the highest rating on the scale, expelling over 1,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material across oceans and continents. Supervolcanoes are not unique to Earth. Evidence from NASA's Space Flight Center suggests that similar cataclysmic eruptions occurred on Mars, particularly in a region known as Arabia Terra. Over a span of 500 million years, thousands of massive eruptions reshaped the Martian surface, potentially stripping the planet of habitability. Scientists believe these eruptions released massive amounts of carbon dioxide, 
thickening the atmosphere, blocking sunlight, and lowering surface temperatures, parallels that mirror the effects seen on Earth. Our own planet currently hosts around 20 known supervolcanoes scattered across its surface. Some of the most notable include Nova Rupta in Alaska, which erupted in 1912 in the largest volcanic event in North American history. The eruption created the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a haunting landscape where volcanic ash still stirs in the wind over a century later, sparking fears of renewed activity. Another is Mount Pek Tu, also called Changbai, on the border between North Korea and China. Revered as sacred by locals, it is one of the few supervolcanoes not situated on tectonic plate boundaries. Scientists consider it highly dangerous. Its last major eruption in 946 CE expelled 45 megatons of sulfur into the atmosphere, dwarfing even Tambora in intensity. Signs of an impending eruption often include small but frequent earthquakes, changes in ground elevation, and increased gas emissions. This was the case with Anak Krakatau, the child of Krakatoa, which erupted in 2018 and triggered a deadly tsunami, killing 437 people and injuring tens of thousands more. Similarly, in 2021, the underwater volcano Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai erupted in the Pacific, sending a plume of ash 56 kilometers high and generating a shockwave that circled the globe multiple times. Yet no volcano looms as ominously over human survival as Yellowstone. In recent years, activity around Yellowstone has raised alarms. One of its most famous geysers, Steamboat, has displayed unusual behavior, erupting with increasing frequency and intensity potential indicators of magma movement below the surface. If Yellowstone were to erupt today, the devastation would be beyond imagination. The initial explosion would produce a shockwave strong enough to be heard across the Atlantic in Europe. A towering ash plume visible from space within an hour would rise into the mesosphere, blanketing half of the United States with deadly volcanic ash. Entire cities including Denver and Salt Lake City would be reduced to ruins, Roofs would collapse under the immense weight of ash, which is six times heavier than snow. Air travel across North America would cease entirely as engines clogged and failed mid-air. Electrical grids would fail as damp ash severed power lines plunging millions into darkness. But the nightmare would only intensify. Rivers and lakes would become toxic, filled with mercury, sulfur, and arsenic. Acid rain would devastate crops, livestock would perish, and famine would sweep across the globe. Volcanic ash particles, sharp and abrasive, would shred human lungs, turning every breath into a fight for survival. Forest fires, sparked by intense lightning storms within ash clouds would consume what little vegetation remained. Hospitals would overflow before shutting down entirely. Looting and chaos would become widespread as societies fought to survive in a world stripped of resources. Within a week, ash would drift thousands of kilometers, reaching Europe and beyond, plunging Earth into a prolonged volcanic winter. The loss of agriculture, clean water, and sunlight would push humanity to the brink of extinction. And while Yellowstone poses the greatest known threat, scientists warn of an even more terrifying possibility, a chain reaction of multiple supervolcanoes erupting in close succession, each triggering the other through global seismic disturbances. Could humanity endure such a challenge? History suggests survival is possible, but only for a fraction of the population. The rest would be left to the mercy of Earth's most destructive force, a reminder that despite all our progress, nature holds the power to rewrite our future in an instant.